Okay, I'm back again. I hope this video does not cut off. And I went in my phone and it told me something about um, clear my cache browser or something, whatever. But um, I'm going over a lot of my, a lot of my, um, what do you call this? Um, notes from my book from 1980 up until now. And I just wanted to share something with you about the scientific names of herbs. Um, a lot of times I think we don't know how to take care of ourselves. It's because when we go looking for herbs, a lot of times we don't know the scientific name of it. And we get frustrated and we just walk out the store. So I want to talk to you a little bit tonight real fast about alfalfa root. And let me just say this. I'm going to give you the scientific name of alfalfa root. Okay. And I'm, then I'm going to give you the parts of the plant and what it's used for. Okay. Now alfalfa root. Uh, back in 1980 when I did my research and even up until today. Um, the scientific name for this is Medicago Sativa. Medicago Sativa. Medicago Sativa. Okay? Medicago Sativa. M-E-D-I-C-A-G-O. Sativa. S-A-T-I-V-A. All right? That is the scientific name of alfalfa root. So let's just say if you're going to the store and you want to buy something that has alfalfa root in it and you can't find it, but you could really be, and you really need alfalfa root for something or uh, for ailment and you get frustrated because you can't find alfalfa root because you may be in a, let's just say, um, a Mexican herb store, um, and you're looking for alfalfa root, but it is in the scientific, it's in the herbal scientific name in most of those Asian stores um, in the Mexican neighborhoods. It, it will be in that type of name. So you have to know and you have to know what you're looking for so that you can get the help that you need and want. Okay. Um, so that's alfalfa root, right? Medicago sativia. All right. Now, that usually comes in all different types and forms and parts, which it comes in a flower, leaves, petals, and sprouted seeds. So you can get that in any form, okay? Um, and let me tell you what's in this herb, the nutrients that's in this, in this herb, which is alpha carotene, what I found, beta carotene. Uh, chlorophyll, chlor uh, chlorophyll. Um, what else did I find in there? Um, lutein, um, calcium, copper, folate, iron, magnesium, uh, vitamins A. Vitamins B1, B2, B3, B5. I also found vitamin K in that. And vitamin D and vitamin C and vitamin E. So, um, let's just say if you have a problem with bleeding. Since it is vitamin K inside of alfalfa root, root which is the scientific name of Medicago sativia, remember that. You can take alfalfa root if you want to stop some sort of bleeding. Y'all follow what I'm saying? Um, and let me tell you the actions and the uses for this. Okay. The actions and the uses is this. For this, what I like is that it alkalines and detoxifies our bodies. Um, it acts as a diuretic if you need that. It's an anti-inflammatory, antifungal. It lowers your cholesterol, lowers your blood pressure. It balances blood sugar and your hormones. Um, if you're hormonal, uh, if you uh, and it also um, promotes gland function. 
It's very good for anemic. If you're if you're if you're anemic, it's great for arthritis, ulcers, bleeding, uh, bleeding of related disorders, as I just stated, and disorders of the bones and joints. Digestive is is good for your digestive system, your liver, your pancreas, and your skin. Okay. Um, you can use this. Uh, I would say. I think it must be used in fresh, raw form, okay, to provide all of your nutrients. So fresh, far, fresh, raw form would once again be flowers, leaves, petals, or sprouts, okay, or if you can get it in a seed. I have used sprouts before. Sprouts are effect is especially effective because it's a sprout, and the roots are especially effective because it's a root. Um, and those are usually used to rejuvenate the body, to 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 heal the body. And if it's just for maintenance, then that's when you can get into the flower part of it, of the herbs to maintain your ailments. <clears throat> um, when you get these, you want to make sure that it's organic, raw, wild crafted herbs. Okay, because we got to be careful because some herbs are sprayed with pesticides. So if a herb is sprayed with pesticides, that's the herb you don't want it. It's just like not taking anything. It's just like using a pharmaceutical drug. Y'all understand where I'm coming from? So we have to understand that if it is not a raw, wild crafted herb, it can have mildew on it, mold, and full of bacteria, okay? Um, and that is alfalfa root. And that is what I had to tell you guys for tonight. And I'm going to come back every night and give you from A to Z on different herbs. And I'm going to give you the herb scientific name so that you'll know what the heck you're looking for when you go into these stores and you'll know what to buy when to buy it, how to buy it, and you'll know the Latin form of your herb that you're looking for, okay? So, that was a quick video, but a hell of a lot of knowledge that I gave you in 7 minutes and 37 seconds. And please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And put on your notifications button because I'm going to be back every night, either live or with a video. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace and blessings.